Gamers, today we're going to be covering the Rocat Vulcan Pro, going over this keyboard in depth, talking about specs, talking about feel. The packaging on this keyboard alone just made it feel high quality. If you're looking to pick up the Vulcan Pro, you can get the keyboard anywhere between $100 to $120, depending on where you're at. At Best Buy the other day, I saw it on sale for $100, but everywhere else is generally about $120. One of my favorite things about this keyboard is the premium feel on this, but it has a heavy, sturdy, just, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, a premium feel to it. Is that, is it, does that get the message across? This keyboard has the exact same feel. It just feels like it should be in a professional setting. Now, one of the key differences between the normal Vulcan and the Vulcan Pro is the fact that the Vulcan is mechanical switches. The Vulcan Pro is optical switches, which gives you that smoother feel and that longer lasting durability and also a little bit quieter. Now, if you're like me and you wanna maximize the amount of space you have for your mouse movement and other peripherals on your desk, I would definitely recommend getting the TKL series, which removes the numbers from the right-hand side of the keyboard. And if you're just a gamer like I am, you don't really need that. But if you're using your keyboard for work or other things, you might not want to go with the TKL. Now, personally, I don't like a wrist rest. Say that five times quickly. But this one's really cool. Now, keyboards I've had in the past had like little clip-on wrist rest, but this one right here is magnetic. When I used to play with wrist rest, I found a lot of times that the rest would just come off on its own. It was a pain in the butt, especially mid-game to reclip. And the fact that this is magnetic is really nice. It's fast acting if it comes off. And you can just easily reattach it on. It's just simple. Now, this keyboard, as well as the wrist rest, comes with grips on the bottom. That way, it's anti-slip on your desk. If you guys don't have a full desk mouse pad, you know how crucial it is, especially mid-gaming, for you to be putting a little bit of pressure on your keyboard, you're getting into the zone and it starts moving around the desk. You definitely don't want that. The cable's also a braided cable, which makes it navigating around your desk and wire tucking a lot better. I personally love all my cables to be braided, my HDMIs, my USB-Cs, my USB 3.0s, all of them. I want every cable that I have around me braided um, just because, again, they don't get tangled. They have a lot, you can maximize the length of the cable a lot more. And here we have the keycaps, of course, it being an optical switch, very nice throw, very smooth, very crisp. And of course, using the wrist rest, it's this just feels super nice. This is just clean, it's crisp. This could be used not only in a gaming setting, but also a professional setting. Now that we've listed all the pros, I wanna go ahead and talk about the cons, and there really aren't that many. I would like to give you guys all the cons to make this video a lot longer, but unfortunately, I gotta be honest, this keyboard's pretty intense. Now, I do have two issues with this keyboard, but it is really personal preference, and assuming some of you guys have similar preferences to me, I'm gonna go ahead and list them. Number one being the keys. I, for one, prefer having shorter throws on my keys, have them lowered to the desk. It's just less range of motion. It's really just nice for me, which is why I prefer this key keyboard here. As far as the keys are concerned, it's probably about half the distance of a throw. Not the biggest of deals, but again, it's something that I just prefer. Now, the second issue and obvious is the fact that I love wireless. There's nothing better than having a wireless keyboard, especially when I'm doing consistently different things. I wanna be able to move my keyboard around for the multiple tasks that I'm doing. If I need to write something, I like to be able to move my keyboard back. If I just wanna put it up on stream or in a video to show you guys something, I like to be able to have that. Um, they usually stay plugged in anyway, but I just like having the extra range of motion to be able to remove it if I need to do something else with my desk space. Overall, final thoughts. This is not a keyboard for me, again, just because of the two cons I listed. However, for a lot of you gamers out there, this keyboard is a must. The RGB is probably one of the best I've seen, even better than the keyboard I'm currently using. The patterns, the brightness of it. If you guys out there love RGB, this is a dream come true. This thing is amazing. Overall, I gotta give this keyboard a 9.5 out of 10, and I'm only not giving it a 10 out of 10 just because, again, of my personal preferences. This thing is solid. This thing is premium. This is a quality keyboard for a quality gamer like you guys out there and if you were looking to purchase one i will leave some links in the description below so you guys can check that out now i haven't had a chance to test out the durability of this keyboard oh behind always on top of your building but honestly i probably won't this thing is way too nice to be destroying